I'm doing my Sunday plant care routine and I noticed that my teddy bear vine looks a little scraggly. So I decided to stop my watering and do a little trimming here. Um, I've had this plant for probably a year to two years. Um, it reminds you of an wandering Jew, uh, Tranescanthia. It has really nice fuzzy leaves. Uh, it's a beautiful plant. This one is struggling a little bit, so I thought that I would give it a quick trim. Um, I probably will repot it, just not today. Um, but the scientific name for this is Cenotosis kiwiensis, common name teddy bear vine. As you can see, it's a beautiful plant. Um, the trails are really, really long. It likes a sunny location. It's an indoor plant. It likes a sunny location. Uh, probably water every seven to 10 days is sufficient and fertilizing it um, probably every two weeks or so, every other watering. Um, it does flower. This one has not flowered yet. So I will try to find a picture of how it looks in flower and insert it here. Uh, so let's get this bad boy trimmed up. I'm gonna take out all the dead trails here, which are coming out quite easy. So it's gonna look healthy looking new growth, big leaves here. So I'm gonna leave that. It's a wonderful plant. I think I found this at one of the big box stores. I believe uh, it was Lowe's. And I've seen them in there, so they're you can find them um, in Lowe's occasionally. I don't remember what time of year it was, but I've seen these. And I think I may, well, I was going to say propagate it and this broke off, so yeah. I might take some cuttings to propagate it. I really do love the plant, um, but uh, let's see if we can Let's see if we can get it back healthy again. It's a little dry, but I was watering. It gets water about every two weeks or so. So my grand dog, Gia, loves to sit by this plant and has been pawing it. So I'm sure that it has not helped. So 
some of those leaves. Here she is, trimmed up nicely. I cleaned the pot up, looks really, really good. I am going to propagate some of the uh, stems that I cut from her. Uh, looks really, really good. What do you think? touched on the care of the teddy bear vine a little bit in the beginning but um, they do like um, a good amount of sunlight daily so a good sunny windowsill would be perfect for them uh, water them on a regular basis touch the top of the soil to ensure that you know if they actually need water or not um, so they do need to be um, watered I would say probably every seven to ten days again I believe I did say that uh, the soil I used a general purpose potting soil I did add a little bit of uh, perlite in there um, I think that should be sufficient for them um, repotting typically every few years uh, they should be repotted um, this guy here I think I'm going to repot I, uh, so possibly um, but maybe not let's see uh, they are slow growing plants so um, you know usually the ones that you find in stores are a pretty nice size which is good because they do grow fairly slowly they're a vining plant um, they can grow up to eight inches and spread about 24 inches so you, if you have a big specimen, you need to ensure that they have plenty of space to crawl. Uh, again, they do flower. Uh, the flowers are pink and blue. Um, this particular one of mine has never flowered. So again, I'll, I'll look for some pictures uh, to insert here. Um, also, you should on the regular basis trim them. And in fact, this is the first time I've trimmed this guy. So it was overdue for a trim. And the soil is actually moist, so uh, I don't believe I need to water it actually. Um, I did water this room about a week ago. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below if you have a teddy bear vine, um, if you like this plan and think you might add it to your collection. Also, um, hit the like button if this is the type of content you enjoy. Um, also, turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Um, and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.